is Peter, and this is my presentation called Raspberry Pi Part 4, The Pharisee, by Devon. Goal. My goal was to make an amusement park ride use it, model using Molly. I choose my amusement park ride at the Pharisee House because it's really easy to build and you know that you're supposed to put the motor in the mix. Design. This is my design that I did on paper. This is the motor. I crossed all these out. The pie, well, it's supposed to go somewhere here. Don't cross that out. So I crossed out all the letters because I knew it was large and that's pretty much it. The stand, the motor in the middle, colors, you know, I, oh, because you need the idea of passengers, but I didn't have time to do that. And this is the stand. The pie did not, is not crossed out. It would be here. And yeah. Oh, and this is the red stick. Well, it's not a red stick. It's kind of a red. Yeah, this is my design. Bill. I used one big, big motor, three wires, red, yellow, and green for the brown wire that was tangled in the big, in the wire bit. I also used one breadboard and one Raspberry Pi. Program. This is my program. I usually put our import RPS GPLS video input time at the top and then on one of my quotes in my, maybe my last lesson I saw that this I think I knew that what this one means it means that you set the warnings to be false and I don't, I don't know what this means but I know what this means and this is the pin setup which means which wire goes into which hole in the pipe and this is the GPS for the motor setup. This is the motor code. Well, this is the GPS motor. And the motor is from 50 cents, from 50 angles. And the motor spin start is zero. And the start light is kind of dead and it's pretty good. And this is the change duty cycle that makes you really dizzy if you're not in the middle. But yeah, this is my program. Test. I tested this 19 or 24 times. Rethink. If I were to do this project again, I would add less and make it more stable. Let's see if play. Let's see if the passengers can go in there. Okay. Go for it, man. So this is my code. This is the input um, GPL input time, this is the set line, this is the spin setup, this is the motor code, and yeah. So let's see if things are good. So as you can see, the Ferris wheel is moving, and I did this decoration on the back to make it like a swirly thing. And on the front, I did a red and, and yellow and red and yellow mixed colors. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is what my Ferris wheel looks like when mm -hmm. it's spinning. And I also put extra support here and here. Yeah. And again, it's the same, it's a constant speed, right? You cannot change the speed of this mm -hmm. car. But though that speed is kind of really fast for a Ferris wheel. Yeah. I mean, normally it go like really slow. Thank you for listening. Okay. Does anyone have any questions for it? Yeah. So the speed, you gonna can you change the speed maybe or not? No. I think you can. You have to change the. See, you have to see, you have to the change. The Ferris wheels are really fast. I think it lies in the pre WM. Okay. Yeah. Motor equal to thirty seven. Oh, um, no, that's a, that's the PWM uh, signal. PWM stand for again? Pulse width modulation. That is oh, how so much. It's the 
cycle. Yeah, no, the cycle, it's, uh, no, we'll go over it next class. So, can I do BB <laughs> apple? No, that's it. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Any other? All right, let's get a round of applause. <laughs>